We're now going to explain a little bit more about multivariable chain rule number one. So remember, what does it say? So, so it says that if f is a differentiable function of x and y, and x and y are differentiable functions of t, then, uh, and if we think of z as f of x of t comma y of t, then it says that dz dt equals um, partial f partial x dx dt plus partial f partial y dy dt. So why is this true? How can we prove it? So what's the proof? So by definition, dz dt is the limit as something goes to zero. Let's call it delta t. So it's the limit as delta t goes to zero of delta z over delta t. Where here, um, delta z means um, z of t plus delta t minus z of t. So it's the net change in z. Okay. Now, since z is a differentiable function, then the definition of differentiability says that what this delta z is, is it's fx times delta x plus fy times delta y plus these error terms, epsilon 1 times delta x plus epsilon 2 times delta y. And then we, so that's delta z, and then we divide this whole thing by delta t. And then part of the definition of differentiability is that these epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 limit to 0. Okay? And then we can break up this limit as a sum of four things, and the, these last two are going to go to 0. And so all we're going to get is the limit as delta t goes to 0 of fx delta x over delta t um, plus limit as delta t goes to 0 fy delta y over delta t. Um, and then as t goes to 0, delta x over delta t goes to the derivative of x with respect to t, and delta y over delta t goes to the derivative of y with respect to t. So this is fx dx dt plus fy dy dt. So that's, that's the proof. Should we do one more example? Okay, well, let's do one more example. So suppose um, f of xy equals x squared plus y squared, and suppose that x equals e to the t, and y equals the log of t. Okay, so let's calculate dz dt, so we're writing z equals f of x of t comma y of t. All right, so dz dt equals partial f partial x dx dt plus partial f partial y dy dt. Okay, now partial f partial x is 2x, and dx dt is e to the t, and partial f partial y is 2y, and dy dt is 1 over t. And we want to express this whole thing as a function of t. So I have to substitute for x and y as functions of t. So I get 
So x is e to the t, so I get 2 e to the 2t plus, and now y is log t, so I get 2 log t over t. That's the answer. Now, we could also first expand z as a function of t and then differentiate it using single variable techniques. So I could also notice that z is equal to x squared. Uh, so it's x of t squared plus y of t squared. So since x of t is e to the t, x of t squared is e to the 2t. And y of t is log t, so y of t squared is log of t squared. And then if I just differentiate this, so the derivative of e to the 2t is 2 e to the 2t. And the derivative of log t is 2 times log t times the derivative of log t, which is 1 over t. And I got the same answer.